the Hoto Tire Inflator. That's right, AJ. I got a compressor. <laughs> right. So imagine this. You don't need to go and queue up at the petrol station to pump up your tyres. I'm on board with this. You can do it at home. Yes, please. Or on the go because it's got a battery. Okay. But let me show you and tell you more. This is the Hoto air compressor. Can I? Well, what do you want to do? Just for the... Oh, for the... AJSMR. I mean, everyone enjoys this moment. I just wanted to yeah. share it. That was all okay. okay. Underwhelming. Oh, but now I've got the screen exposed and I just want to... Oh, no. You <laughs> you soiled it with your finger. Right, don't ruin the video. Sorry. Okay. Come on, then. This is the Hoto Smart Air Compressor. With this small light, fast inflation rechargeable device you have the choice of black and dark blue it's a shock absorbent shell so soft to touch which aj i'm sure will confirm shortly uh it's extremely well textured covering an aluminium alloy body um now with that we have a glossed front with a full display screen and we've got some features on the side that we're going to be able to access the tire pressure uh, adapters are available in the packaging with the product which we can kind of run through in a moment the maximum tire pressure is 150 psi this is the important bit and you can be filling at 35 psi a standard tire basically in 30 seconds 0.5 bar accuracy on digital tire pressure measuring the uh inflator the inflation will automatically stop once it reaches the goal and in addition to this we said it's battery powered so it has a 2600 milliamp hour capacity lithium battery a built-in torch which offers up to a thousand lumens and has various modes available such as strobe sos and you can go low medium and high by clicking through on the power button that is the main features of the hoto air compressor i didn't want to turn it on whilst you're doing the close-ups uh just in case the compressor turns on yeah it will make a bit of a racket let's try it is it one click oh just hold it okay you on i'm on but i've not turned the compressor on that was that was good so we've got a little spinny dial on the side and the little spinny dial is obviously how you set your bar rating or psi or whatever it is you've got it set in whatever mode you've got it set into that's it so fiddle around you select it aj my tire is 35 psi how do i get it in psi and not in bar then oh so i think you hold down holding down hold ah psi now, now spinny round 35 35 there you go look right and that's it and and then you just want to hit go yeah and then you hit go i don't want to hit go because well it makes a lot of noise yeah, yeah but it just kind of proves that it works um so yeah you uh, again why does this always happen when there's some kind of torch on the show straight in my eyes there's a torch there's different modes for the torch. You've got low, medium, and high. You've got the SOS, and you've got your strobe light on it. So why would I need a portable battery-powered compressor, Pete? Tell me why. Okay. You've got a motorbike in the garage at home. This sounds like a very you story. It's tucked up for far too long in between nice, dry days. Because you only like to take it out when it's dry, crisp days. Okay. And before you take it out... You want to make sure your tyre pressure is spot on. Let's say it's five miles to the nearest garage to pump up your tyres. That's no good. Did you buy this through the work credit card? Yeah. Are you taking this home to use in your garage? For demonstration purposes, for myself, just to prove that it works. It sounds properly. very much like this is entirely just for you. Well, there's a me problem yeah, a and there's problem. a them problem. Them. So, like, they need this in their life. Right. I also need this in my life. And it means when I roll the motorbike out of the garage, I know that the tyres are 
36, 42. They're spot on. Okay. Exactly what I need. Very specific. Almost like you've recently done it. Well, or the car, 35. This smells like garage. I mean, it's been tested. Yeah. And it works. Okay. You've got all the um, the gubbins that you need. Yeah, so that's like car stuff. Car then stuff. Then you've got football stuff. It screws into the top. The you know, if you've got kids at home, whether they've got netballs, basketballs, footballs, this, yeah. you've got that covered. The adapter thread, and you've also got the, as Pete was just saying, if you want to burst to their balls, overinflate them. Yeah, rugby ball. Yeah, overinflate Overpower it. it. Who yeah. knows what PSI, just keep going until it feels really tough. And also this... Um, pouch. I don't know what, what so you'd call that's it. That's opposing pouch. Sporin. Yeah. <laughs> so it all drops inside there. Yeah. Keeps everything It's kind of cool. Organized. I like that. It's kind of... So you can keep it in your car, basically. In your trunk. Oh. Yeah. Um, genuinely, apart from motorbike situations, like you have, having this in your glove box could genuinely be a bit of a lifesaver. Like, if you've... I don't know, if, you, if you've lost pressure in your tyre and, and you're on the go, you can get it on the so, go. So, I think of, like, a normal car situation. Um, most cars now give you a dash readout yeah. on low tyre pressure. Yeah. And and that's it now. You're worried about yeah. the tyre pressure. To be able to quickly just correct that on the roadside incredible yeah really cool and to make it simple enough that anyone can use just hit the power yeah. button adjust it if you're psi or bar you I mean, can obviously jump across back back in the day we used to have uh, portable compressors that would attach to the cigarette lighter that's and true. now cigarette lighters have just gone from cars entirely they just yeah. don't you don't see them do you do you know in in my car it's in the trunk really so, so you notice i'm saying trunk because the American audience. Right, so that's so your boot. I'm, I'm like down with you guys. It's in your boot. In Trunk. Boot. Yeah. Trunk. And I don't quite understand why that is. So maybe there's some markets where they prefer to use the 12 volt. I guess, in, in yeah, the I, I, I guess if you don't, um, if you're not lighting cigarettes yeah. like they used to be, it kind of makes more sense to be in your boot, not your trunk, in your boot. Yeah. Because that's where you're going to be doing like utility stuff. Or Picnics. You're gonna, yeah. Or with like a torch. If you go camping, in. you're going to blow up inflatable mattresses. But like if you want to blow up your tire, it's probably better that yeah. it comes from your boot. But yeah, no longer do you need to worry about finding the 12 volt adapter. Even. You may not even have one. A lot of cars just don't have them anymore. You, you can charge this quite simply when you get home by USB-C. That's really cool. Uh, how much charge do you say it was? 2,000 something milliamps? 2,600, I believe. Let, let me check 2,500. 2,500. Do you know what's back. that between friends? It's nothing. Um, do you, have you got any idea of how many tyre inflations you could do that? Could you do all four tyres? You could easily do four tyres. Really? I mean, it's 30 seconds to get to... The 35 average PSI. car tire full uh, full wow, from flat. Okay, and is there a maximum psi it can go up to? Yeah, one million trillion billion. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the exact science of it. Right. So okay, if you if you've got a tractor trillion. yeah, and you're trying to pump it up with this, what are you doing watching this show? It's for cars. It actually will go up to 150 psi. Which is a tractor tyre. One million tires. trillion. It's kind of the same. Yeah. Don't put your tyres to 150 psi. Look, AJ, I tried squaring it with you before. Yeah. I've blagged accounts that I've bought something for me. Yeah, okay. That's as totally fine. I was looking for, can it do yeah. 46 psi? Yes. It can. It's meant to be. <laughs> I'll buy that, thanks. I'll buy that. Yeah. So, yeah. Can you blow up an aeroplane tyre with it? Probably possibly i don't want to say but if you went flying so you're on holiday somewhere yeah to some local and, airport and the pilot makes a special announcement no no, no it's better than that. Oh, okay. it's like Here a little go. local airport yeah you yeah. know the type where you have to walk across the tarmac i know the one small regional airports yeah, yeah. i've been there yeah. yeah 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 so you're getting on your flight let's say locally to us bristol airport bristol yeah. Brist bristol airport extra airport you're walking across the tarmac yeah and uh you're waiting in the terminal, which is basically just a door before the tarmac. Yeah. Uh, he went in there looking. He goes, sorry, everybody, slight delay to the flight. Oh, no, what's Just got to do some last-minute safety checks. You're like, oh, okay, that sounds very official. They're just being thorough. And you see the pilot climbing out of his little ladder down onto the tarmac, and he gets one of these out, and he's pumping up the tyres. Oh, wait a second, is that the Hoto? No, you see that, even if it is the Hoto, okay. and you're not getting on that plane. <laughs> He's just checking his PSI. He's just right. checking his PSI with this. Yeah. 
I or, mean, it's better or, than a hand pump. Or you'd be relieved and go, do you know what? Dub. Upstairs for thinking. Yeah, yeah. He's gone. Mama didn't raise no fool. It's better than if he was there I'm with not a foot waiting pump, around. Yeah, I'm not Outside waiting around. Plane. I've got one of these in my back. Yeah, it's good. So, yeah, I mean, Hoto mm. for every situation. Oh, they're going to pay you for that? Uh, hopefully, we'll make it rain. How much are you going to offer that? I'm not sharing slogan? it. No? 100? It's my money. Can I get my compressor, my money. Mine was the airport story, though. It wasn't that great, unless you've got a strap line for a billboard. Ready? Three, two, one. Hoto the door. <laughs> Too much Game of Thrones. Oh, uh, okay. So that's been our look at the Hoto Smart Portable Air Compressor. And if you're watching this video, I want you to write in the comments where you can see the continuity error between this and the... <laughs> And sorry the, about that, AJ. Oh, well, sorry, yeah? I hit the power button. Okay. So if you want to see more about this product, there are, of course, links below. And whilst you're down there rummaging around, make sure you like this video, ring Pete's bell, and write in the comments the continuity area that you spot. I thought it was going to be a little game to play. Yeah. And just, you just ruined it. Didn't mean to. No. You want to see another video from us? Don't know why you would, but they're there. Just there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>